just don't get it. I mean, you don't understand. My mother totally changed her attitude about me going to L.A. with Chad when she was so against me going before. So was your father. Right, and she supported him. And for her to all of a sudden go against him, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And now it's causing this terrible fight between them? I just don't understand it. I mean, what could have changed my mom's mind? Damn it. She said it straight out. She told Whitney to move to L.A. with that punk. Why would she go against me like that? I wish I could answer that, T.C. Damn it! She knows how I feel about this. She knows I told Whitney that I would disown her if she chose Chad over her own family. And the only way that's gonna have any impact at all, that we have to stay united. Makes sense to me. My own wife went against me on this. I mean, she told Whitney to run off with that punk Chad. A man that she knows I am totally against ruin her life you know TC it does seem like Eve is trying to undermine you but why yeah, but that is that's a good question why is she doing this what the hell's wrong with her oh god Julian what have I done TC is just never gonna forgive me you have no choice you need Whitney to go to LA with Chad to protect her from Liz. You did it to save your daughter. What even saving my daughter? I have lost my husband. Liz is winning. No. no. Yes. She's destroying my family. She's ruining my marriage. You know, Luis really went the whole nine yards to help find my wife. I mean, think about it, he mobilized Pretty much everybody involved all by himself. Just shows how much he wanted to find Sheridan. Now, I couldn't ask for a better brother, Hank. Yeah. Although I never really thought Sheridan was kidnapped, especially after what Beth told us. Sheridan told her. About Sheridan being under a lot of pressure and needing to get away by herself for a while? Yeah. I mean, she did take some of her clothes, her luggage, even her passport. So it would make sense. And now that we've got this email from her, saying she's in Paris and that she's okay. Well, you know, I mean, if that confirms that she would just went away for a while. I wonder for how long. I don't know. I'm sure she'll let us know. I just wish I could be with her. Only part that I don't like is that she's by herself, especially now that she's pregnant. Well, let's just hope she gets in touch with you real soon. Yeah, I'm sure she will. I just love her so much. Just very thankful that she wasn't kidnapped. I'm sorry, Luis. I don't want to hurt you, but it does seem like Sheridan's sending you a pretty strong message. So you think that Sheridan doesn't want me to find her? Well, if she did, she would have told you she was leaving. You know, said goodbye before she left instead of just sneaking off the way she did. Luis, if, if Sheridan really wanted to talk to you, she would have called instead of sending you an email. Yeah, but Sheridan wouldn't want me to worry. She, she want me to know that she's okay. I think um, she just wanted you to stop searching for her. She knew that you would, and she obviously doesn't want you to find her. Oh my God, Kay. The water is not coming from the sink. It's coming from you. What are you talking about? Kay, your water broke. No. No. No, it's too soon. No, it's too soon. No! 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 What the hell was that? It came from the kitchen. It sounded like Kay. What it happened? Oh, top of the top. I think you better just sit. In your condition, it's probably just best to stay off your feet. Well, 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 Tabitha Lennox, pregnant. Yes, it did come as a bit of a surprise. I'll bet it did. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, I, I, I think I'll just uh, go upstairs and peek in on Charity, see if she's okay. Oh, no, I 
have the strangest feeling about Tabitha's pregnancy. I, I wonder who the father is. I hope Charity didn't go into my room. Hades only knows what that brat could pick up on in there. I don't understand. How can you already have the baby? You were just downstairs. Who are all these people? I don't recognize any of them. These are my friends. They've come to worship my name. W worship? What are you talking about? People don't worship babies. They do. And the baby is the ruler of the dark side. <laughs> I would hold the hand of the one who could leave no places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew you would take me high What could have changed my mom's mind? I mean, she was dead set against me going with you before. Now, all of a sudden, she's acting like it's okay. Maybe she's finally realized our love is real. And freezing you out and disowning you is not gonna stop us from being together. All that's gonna do is cost her a daughter. I think that chat's right. You know, mom doesn't wanna lose you over this. Maybe, but by supporting me and Chad, she could end up losing my dad. Eve, it's going to be all right. How? Lizzie's succeeding at what she set out to do. Just destroy my marriage and my family. Well, you won't let her. You won't allow her to win. And I'll help you stop her. No. Julian, I appreciate it, but this is something that I have to take care of myself. It was like a slap in the face. Oh, TC, I'm so sorry. I don't know where Eve's head is on this. I mean, I don't understand any of it. TC? I would like to speak to my husband in private, please. Of course. Honey, I know you're upset. Upset? You deliberately went against me in front of our daughter. You encouraged her to defy me on something I told her not to do. How in the hell could I not be upset, Eve? Honey, I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't trying to go against you. But damn it, you are. What the hell is going on? What are you doing? I'm really sorry. At least the last thing I want is to see you hurt. But... I think you need to take an honest look at what's really happening here. Sheridan made it perfectly clear that she doesn't want you to find her. Yeah, well, I just don't get it. I knew the pressure of telling Antonio about our relationship was getting to her, and that's why I backed off. I told her that we could wait. I just wanted her to relax and take it easy to take care of herself and the baby. Of course you did. You wanted to help her. I mean, Sheridan knew that. She, she knew she could turn to you. So why didn't she? I don't know. I don't know why she couldn't call or why she felt that she had to leave. Well, I don't know either. We called in the last of the teams. Search for Sheridan is officially over. Look, Luis, I know you're just as concerned about Sheridan as I am. But I'm happy knowing that she's probably stretched out by a pool right now at one of the 
Exclusive crane hotels, soaking up the sun. You know, being pampered, waited on hand and foot. There has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. How did that rat get down here? How's he gonna get out? As much as I miss my wife and want to be with her, you know, I understand why she had to leave. Because she was under so much stress that she just needed to relax, and that's okay. She deserves it. Yeah. I agree with Antonio. Sheridan's getting just what she deserves. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry, no, not one little bit. She went on to seduce Antonio with her corn silk curls. Then it was eeny, meeny, miny, mo, bed hopping between Louise and Antonio. Sheridan's a blonde vixen who got what she deserved. Oh, she had it coming, all right. She had it coming. That isn't a baby. <laughs> You're right there, Charity. He's no normal, boring, run-of-the-mill rug rat. He's a wee demon. No! My, that was loud. He's my darling little demon from hell. This is 
is a red letter day for us, a sacred day. Today we celebrate the birth of a new Prince of Darkness. No, no, no this can't be up. You're here to witness my baby's first feeding charity. Come closer. We want to get a good view of this special event. Why is that no great? Milk. <laughs> Demons don't drink milk, dear. This is the liquid of life. No! The liquid that flows <laughs> through our veins. You mean it's... Well, it ain't cranberry juice, dear. <laughs> the Prince of Darkness. The Prince of Evil. Long may he reign. Long, Long may, may he reign. Long. Damn it, Eve, talk to me. I don't understand. Wipe that smug look off your face, dear. You're not going to win. You're not going to ruin Eve's life. Of course I am, Julian. Just look at my dear, sweet sister right now. Family's falling apart, her marriage is in shambles, and I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> You know, I just realized something. It's not going to be the cakewalk you hoped it would be. No. Oh, far from it. The club is destroyed. So? So your latest excuse for staying in harmony has gone up in smoke. There's nothing to keep you here. No business, no way to make money. So I suppose you'll have to leave harmony. Which means that finally you won't be interfering in Eve's life anymore. Eve, answer me. I mean, what the hell is going on? Why would you tell Whitney that she can move away with Chad? What the hell are you thinking? I was thinking that I would book her into the Blue Note so she could get her feet wet in almost the same surroundings as you did. You know, if your daughter is going to be like you, then she's going to need a place to get started. Started drinking, started doing drugs, started having sex with older men. Oh, I thought that you cared about Whitney. I do. Problem is, I hate you more than I love her. Talk to me, Eve. I have a right to know. There has to be a reason why you're putting our family and our marriage on the line like this. You're right, Jesse. I do have a reason. No! Okay. Okay, it's gonna be all right. Jessica's calling for an ambulance, okay? Now, now what happened? <laughs> Kay's water broke. It's too soon. <laughs> My baby. My baby. Try to relax. No, I'm gonna relax when my baby's coming home. What on earth is going on in here? Kay's water broke. I thought the baby wasn't due for some time. It's not. It's just way early. Sweetheart, look, okay, listen, are you having contractions? I don't know. I don't know. It just hurts. Sweetheart, just please try to relax, all right? Because it's just not good for the baby. Okay. 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 It's my fault, Mama. What? I got Cam sad. We were arguing, and then this happened. Me? I'm sure it's not your fault. These things happen. Yeah, but it's too early. You know, the baby's not due for weeks. We just have to pray that everything's going to be all right. Ow! The baby's getting worse. I'll go check on the ambulance. Okay, she's in labor. The baby's coming. Okay. Look at me. Long reign the Prince of Darkness. Long reign the Prince of Darkness. Long reign the Prince of Darkness. Long reign. You can run, Charity, but you'll never get away. <laughs> Charity hasn't touched anything. If she has, it could be disastrous. <gasps> oh, it hurts! Oh, sweetie, breathe. I can't! Yes, you can. You 
took Lamont's class, right? <laughs> Just one. Okay, well, remember what they taught you to breathe deep? Come on. Deep and slow and easy. Okay. 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 He's on his bed. Okay. Now, sweetheart, we're gonna take you to the hospital, okay? I think the baby's coming. No, Mom. No, he's too soon. No. Oh, God. Miguel! Miguel! I'm here. You're, I'm here. you're gonna go to the hospital with me, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Sweetheart, you're so cold. I'm freezing. Uh, I'm like this. We should take it to the hospital right away. Yeah. Jessica called the ambulance. It's on its way. She's outside waiting to flag it down. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go call my mom, let her know what's going on, and have her meet us at the hospital. Thanks, sweetheart. Okay, now, honey, you're gonna be okay. Okay, you and the baby. I'll take you to the hospital, and I'm gonna try to get your dad. Okay, I'm gonna be fine. Hey, John, okay. will you give me a hand? I want to get Kay into the living room so she can lay on the couch. Sure. Okay. Let me help. Let me help. the truth now. I saw it all. So what? You're not pregnant with a normal baby. You're carrying a demon child. A child the dark forces will worship. I have to warn everyone. Tell them the truth. Now what am I going to do? You guys were great. I just want to tell you I really appreciate all the effort you put forth in trying to find my wife. And the good news is that she's safe. She wasn't kidnapped. She's just under a little stress here and, you know, with all the attempts that have been made on her life lately, she wanted to go somewhere to recuperate. I'm sure I'll be with her soon, but just wanted to say thanks again. Well, you're wrong, Antonio. You're never going to be with Sheridan again. You or Luis, because she's gonna die. And with Sheridan out of the way, Luis will be mine again. My plan is right back on track. What are you doing, buddy? I'm making plane reservations. What? I'm flying to Paris, Hank. I'm gonna find Sheridan. The reason, Eve? I want to know why you turned against me. Hey, you got my fix? I do, sugar. Mm -hmm. But you owe me. You're in the mood for some heavy coin. Baby, come on. You know you're going to get your money. <laughs> no way that's going to happen, but there are other ways to pay. Mm -hmm. Whitney, no, no, don't do this. Hey. Don't do it. How dare you tell me what to do? You a damn hypocrite, Mama. I'm just like you. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Get off! <laughs> Look what you did to my daughter! Why did I ever let you near her? Eve, what is it? Do you see? I did it to protect Whitney. To protect her? You sent her away with Chad to protect her? Eve, that doesn't make any sense. Listen up, everyone. The fire marshal has something to tell us. <clears throat> This fire was no accident. What? It was arson. What? Uh, are you saying that someone deliberately set fire to my club? That's exactly what he's saying. Well, who would do such a thing? We don't know, but we're going to find out. Now Liz will never be able to use this club to hurt me or Whitney.
Sam, you have to catch whoever did this. We will. I promise. Arson is a very serious crime. I just lost my club because of it. Well, arson isn't the only crime that's been committed. What do you mean? There was people inside the club. Whitney, Chad, Fox, and Teresa. They were almost killed, and that's attempted murder. I'm gonna make sure whoever did this is punished to the fullest extent of the law. Attempted murder and arson? Sam, those are very serious crimes. Yes, they are. And we're going to find the person or persons responsible for this. Well, then I would imagine that they would be sent away for a very long time. That's right, Liz. When I think how close we came to dying tonight... It was horrible. And that someone did it deliberately. I mean, what kind of monster would do such a thing? Yes, what kind of monster indeed. Sam, whoever did this, you can't let them get away with it. We won't. I'm starting up an all-out investigation. I'm calling in the arson team. We'll get whoever set this fire. How soon will your team be able to give us something concrete to go on? Well, this is a very sloppy job. Certainly no professional was involved. Somebody who burns places for the insurance money. Could I have something in a matter of hours? Great. I'll have my men on standby. That won't be necessary. You needn't um, start an investigation, because I didn't. I'm the one responsible for the fire. Well, I'm going to be on the next flight out. You're not actually thinking of going to Paris to look for Sheridan. No, I'm not thinking about it. I'm doing it, Hank. I'm going to find her. Luis, Paris is a big city. France is a big country. How do you expect to find her if you have no idea where she is? Trust me. I'll find her. Seems to me that she doesn't want to be found. That's the same thing that Beth said. I know this is hard, Luis, but you have to face reality. Sheridan knows where you are, knows how to get in touch with you, but she hasn't even made an attempt to contact you. In fact, she did just the opposite. She left without telling you or anyone else where she was going. She hasn't even called once, right? No. She sent an email to say she was okay, but she didn't say where she was staying or how to get in touch with her, which leads me to believe that she doesn't want anybody to find her, including you, Luis. But why? Why doesn't she want to talk to me, Hank? But she loves me. She knows that I love her. It just makes no sense. Yes, I can understand that she was under a lot of pressure. Not to call, not to tell me where she was going. What the hell is that all about? I don't know, but she hasn't. It's all right, Charlie. Everything is back on track. Yes, yes. The search for Sheridan was called off. The email, Luis got it, and everyone, even Luis, is convinced that Sheridan wasn't kidnapped after all. Yeah, they all think she's in Paris relaxing. Mm -hmm. So we're home free. No one is going to find Sheridan in my basement because no one's going to look. We're safe. Sheridan? Well, Sheridan is doomed. Oh, God, this can't be happening. I couldn't reach my mother. She must not have her cell phone with her. Okay. Where is a damn ambulance? Grace, did you get hold of Sam? I, I told him to meet us at the hospital. Laura, how's she doing? Well, her pulse is too fast and her temperature is dropping. Both Kay and the baby could be in danger. Poor Kay. I mean, I know she's been a nightmare, but she does not deserve this. No, I suppose she doesn't. But think of it this way, David. If she dies, it's one less person who knows you are working for me to break up Sam and Grace. No heart, no soul. Well, you're definitely one of a kind, Ivy. Very unique to the world. Come on, sweetheart, breathe. It's important. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs to see if Charity's up there. I think she needs to know what's going on. Okay. Down, down. I got 
got to get her down. What am I going to do? Brat knows the truth. She must have had one of those damn premonitions of hers. She'll tell everyone. Oh, I'm doomed. Charity? Bloody hell! <laughs> Charity? Oh, oh, Miguel, you startled me. Sorry, Tabitha, I didn't even know you were up here. Oh, lovely. Uh, Charity and I were just having a little chat, and she said she felt tired and just fell asleep. Yeah, well, I need to wake her. Kay's water broke. What? Yeah, the baby's coming. We need to get her to the hospital. Oh, no, Charity? No, Miguel, I don't think you should disturb her right now. But I want Charity no, to come with you should be me. with Kay. You should be with Kay. She's waking up. Charity, it's me. Are you okay? You. It's me. Did you hear what I said? An investigation won't be necessary. I'm the one to blame. So you're saying you deliberately set fire to that club? No, not deliberately, of course, but I, I, I'm the one at fault. I stupidly kept a couple of full cans of gasoline at the club, and one of them must have ignited. Don't you know keeping anything flammable like this in a business is against the law? Yes, but I really didn't think anything like this would happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? My daughter almost died tonight, you bastard. It was an accident. Oh, this is an accident. TC! Yeah. TC, stop it! Sweetie, it's been a long time between contractions. It's good to you. We're still far apart. The ambulance is here. Okay, sweetheart, you hear that? The ambulance is here. We're gonna take you to the hospital. Hey, everything's gonna be all right. Okay. Hold on, Kay. Everything is gonna be fine. I'm so scared, Simone. I know. This shouldn't be happening yet. Try not to worry, okay? Simone, this could ruin everything. I need this baby to get Mikhail. You're unbelievable. How can you think about that right now? Oh. Uh. On the other hand, uh, the danger to me and the baby. He can play on me with sympathy. Maybe he'll fall closer to me. I'm not gonna listen to this right now. She's on the sofa. Miss, we're gonna have a look at you, and then we're gonna get you on the green. Miguel! I want Miguel! You. What about Tabitha Charity? Where did you come from? Me? Yeah, you were here. You were downstairs. She was in here when I came in, and you were asleep on the bed. Oh. Are you sure? Because I don't remember lying down. And I don't remember you coming in. Oh. Oh, I think you're just a little confused, dear. Yeah. The last thing I remember was hearing a baby crying. But it's all kind of a blur after that. Wait, wait what baby was crying? I, I think she's remembering a premonition, you know, about the fire and the danger to the baby. I don't remember seeing a baby. I don't remember anything. <sighs> what is it, Charity? It's Tabitha. There's something wrong. Something terribly wrong. I can feel it. It's your baby, Tabitha. There's something wrong with your baby. TC, this isn't the way. Whitney almost died in there tonight, Sam. They all almost died. I am not gonna let you get away with I'm, this. I, I understand, TC. My son was in there as well. Sam, I've, I, I feel terrible about this. After Fox sold the club to Liz, I completely forgot that the gasoline was in there. So you're saying it was an accident? But of course it was, and thankfully it was not a tragic one. Who are you covering for, Father? Who would you cover for? 
Well, looks like the arson is solved. I'll have my men finish up. It's in your hands now, Chief. You should have never stored those gasoline cans in your club. Your irresponsibility almost cost these people their lives. It was an oversight. It was an accident that I will regret for the rest of my life. You know what? I am not so sure all of this is an accident. What were you doing out here in the middle of the night outside the club? And for that matter, Eve, what the hell were you doing here? trying to kill me, Louise. Unless, of course, Julian's up to his old tricks again. Yeah. Look, I, I don't know. Sure, whoever burned down your cars, you could have been after me, too. The cops have a lot of enemies. Look, whoever it was, I want to protect you, all right? Nothing or no one is going to stop us from being together, especially after everything that we've been through. I love you so much. I don't ever want to be separated from you, not even for a minute. I know the feeling. I need you. I need you to stay with me. Something's not right. Everyone bought our story that Sharon had left on her own. Uh-oh, they no longer suspect foul play. Yes, OK, we can carry out everything that we have planned. OK, OK, I got to go. Look, I want you to put up the maps again call back the search team. What? Look, I'm not buying it, okay? I don't think that Sheridan is in Paris or that she went off on her own. Hey, listen to me. Something happened to her, and I'm not gonna rest until she's safe. The search is back on. Miguel! Mom, where is he? I need him with me right now. Damn it, you betrayed me. The only place you'll be going tonight is jail. Sheridan is in trouble. I want this search back on. Now! You're acting like Sheridan is the woman that you're in love with. This fall, Alicia Silverstone is America's newest matchmaker. She's not just a pretty face. And tough cases are her specialty. How would you describe yourself? I'm fun. When I love, I just like instant. It's like, oh, oh how you doing? She's Your hair looks very nice today. Nice! I like your hair. Alicia Silverstone is mismatch. NBC Fridays this fall.